This is CBS 2 News. Hello, I'm Erica Sargent with CBS Chicago. In the news, we're learning American Airlines has now canceled all of its Boeing 737 MAX flights until the middle of August. The world's largest airline decided to extend the cancellations from early June through August 19th to help plan ahead for the busy summer travel season. American says based on their ongoing work with the FAA and Chicago-based Boeing, it believes the MAX planes will be recertified before then. About 115 flights a day will be canceled through August 19th. It is the final day to file your tax return, and that could mean a busy day at the post office. So the downtown post office is staying open until midnight to make sure you can mail your tax return before the deadline. The facility at 433 West Harrison Street will have clerks selling stamps for last minute filers. All neighborhood post offices will open during regular hours. If you already have stamps, you can just toss your return in a mailbox, but make sure to check the posted collection time to make sure you don't miss the deadline. Line. An Indianapolis company is recalling its melon products after they were linked to a salmonella outbreak across 16 states, including Illinois. The recall includes watermelon, honeydew, and cantaloupe. The fruit was sold at several stores, including Kroger, Walmart, Trader Joe's, and Whole Foods. Health officials say if your fruit has been packaged by Cato Foods, you should throw it out. So far, 93 people have gotten sick from the recalled fruit. Now let's turn to meteorologist Mary Kay Kleiss for a look at our forecast. Hi, Mary Kay. Hi, Erica. So nice to see the sun today. I do think we're going to have a nice mild day for tomorrow, but clouds are increasing from the west, and that will be the trend overnight. We can't rule out a stray shower either as we move through the overnight, but I do expect it to be minor. Then as we start the morning tomorrow, we'll see temperatures in the middle and upper 40s, little hint of sun, but then clouds gather and roll in for the afternoon. But notice the high temperature nicely rising. So so overnight, we will see a low of about 44 degrees with that small chance of a few scattered showers. And then during the day tomorrow, turning mostly cloudy, middle 60s for us, southwesterly winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. I think we'll find 70, especially along I-80 places south, 72 Rensselaer, 72 Kankakee, low 70s there for Morris, Ottawa, and for Joliet. So as we look at future cast heading into Thursday, that looks like the best time to see a storm threat during the day as a cold front lines up across the area. So we'll be timing that out. Now we do have a chance of a pop-up shower thunderstorm on Wednesday as that instability starts increasing. But Thursday, the main boundary will start moving through. We should push it to about 69 for a high. Thunderstorms are likely a couple of leftover showers on Friday. But right now, the Easter weekend, Erica, is looking nice. That is great to hear. Thank you, Mary Kay. And for the latest headlines, day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Erica Sargent. Have a great day.